I'm going to show you how I draw my simple cubic unit cell. Now, simple cubic is what you get when you stack balls side by side and up and down so that their diameters are lined up. If I was going to try to draw this in three dimensions for you, it would be just like this. It's like stacking two by two by two. And I mean, in a real crystal, it's like infinity by infinity by infinity or trillions by trillions, whatever. The unit cell for simple cubic generally is shown as connecting the centers of these atoms. And then this repeats over and over and over again in all directions. But the unit cell is this cube that I'm drawing here. What I like to do to draw this unit cell is start with my top square. And it is a square, but it's in three dimensions. So I end up drawing it a bit like a rhombus or a parallelogram. But this shape here is made by having four circles or spheres all touching each other. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to draw little chunks of sphere all connecting together. And yeah, there's empty space in there, but there's clearly empty space between these golf balls as well. Then I draw the front panel. I try to make this one actually look like a square. And then I try to copy this, but you know, in an up down direction instead. So again, the golf balls are all buttressing against each other. And you might be able to see that these two things came from the same sphere. That's the only sphere we, we can kind of see all of. To finish, I'm gonna to try to draw a parallelogram here where this side is equivalent to this side, and this angle is equivalent to that angle, or like, you know, these are parallel lines because of perspective. And I'm going to try to make the same shape, but as though I was looking at it in perspective. Here, these two are going to connect there. This is going to come out and meet about halfway. This one's going to come down and meet about halfway. Ideally, you'd be able to draw yourself a little line. Don't, but like with your eyes, you can see that that line there is parallel to both this one and that one. And then we can do the same here. Nice. Now, the last thing I do is I try to add some three-dimensionality by pretending these are all our little balls that overlap each other. You'd be able to see some bits and pieces of each of these things in three dimensions because there is a hole here. So what are you seeing through the window? You might see like the back side of this ball and a little bit of that one, etc., etc. You might be able to see something here as well. This is my simple cubic unit cell. And just to help your eyes, the idea is that this, that, and that all came from this sphere here, which got chopped this way, that way, and the other way. So we are looking at this chunk here, which is this front, a chunk that is, uh, you know, the bottom half of this sphere in the other direction, and then the front side here. I don't know if that helped you, but this here is an eighth of a sphere. If you took a sphere and then you chopped it in half this way, You'd end up with a half, chop it again for a quarter, and chop it again for an eighth. Beautiful. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.